Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at a Pentax J60C telescope, probably from uh, the 80s, maybe the early 90s. And it's a wonderful little telescope in some respects. It's got some beautiful ergonomics with it. I love the aesthetics on the thing. It's a 60 millimeter by about 300 millimeter focal length. This scope is nice for general kind of portable carry it around little telescope quick views uh, you can use it as a kind of a spotter scope or for astronomy and it's got some nice features uh, that, that go with it it does use 965 eyepieces so you should be aware of that and there's some issues with that I'll get into here in a minute do not confuse the cute little Pentax J60C with its big brother the Pentax J60 these are both 60 millimeter telescopes. This is obviously a much different ball game. This has a fully functional slow motion control, a nice heavy duty high quality mount. I've got a whole video on this scope by itself. Just don't confuse the two. It's very easy to do because just the C different in the letter. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside the box. Here we have the Pentax J60C with all sorts of goodies. I want to apologize because some of these are not original. The scope is of course original. But uh, these eyepieces are not original to this particular scope. What do we have in here? Well, first of all, we've got the little Pentax. I love the ergonomic design on the finder mount. This um, this is not original here, and this is certainly not original. That's a Teleview Plossel. This is an inch and a quarter adapter, and I don't believe they came with inch and a quarter adapters, but it makes it a very nice telescope if it does have that. Let's see what else we have in here. Cute little tripod. It's got to be the tiniest, cutest little tripod you could ever imagine. Little tiny things, extendable legs that make it a total of maybe 10 inches tight. I don't know. It's as cute as it can be. Here is a couple of adapters. This is a camera adapter. Of course, it's set up to fit a Pentax, but you can get different, different adapters. An extension. Here's the standard 965. And I supplied a, a, a 965 diagonal. Okay, let's set this telescope up. Look at this full-featured miniature tripod. I just love it. Just as cute as it could be. And look at this. It's got that. You've even got a... Look at that! Can you imagine that on a little tiny tripod like this? Cute. And let's see. Let's mm -hmm. put this guy on here. And for stability, I want to just... Jack that up a little bit. Just look at this cute little thing on its full function tripod. The tripod by itself is completely fascinating to me. I don't think you'll ever find another teeny tiny small tripod like this that's full function with all the bells and whistles. Lock it down here, lock it down there. Get a lock over here. And this. What is the purpose putting that on a tiny tripod other than just to show up? Anyway, it's uh it's pretty darn cool. It's a micro miniature little thing. Look at that. Here's the focus. So, the little tripod is very helpful, very useful. If you are sitting, looking through this thing, you would be able to, uh, be able to adjust it like that. That's actually quite nice. It, it would be a nice feature to have. Here we have the J60C set up with its 965 um, adapter. 
uh, Pentax 965 12mm eyepiece. And I want to show you, this is where it focuses. It's right up next to the stop here. There is no extra room there. I'm at an infinity right there. And uh, that's going to become tricky and problematic with other eyepieces and other tele um, and an other adapter. For example, you can unscrew this. This is a standard Vixen thread. And you would think it would be a really good idea to go out and buy one of these uh, standard Vixen adapter screws right in. Everything's perfect. Now, this is inch and a quarter. If you use an inch and a quarter star diagonal in it, that will not come to focus at infinity. So this is a pretty serious issue with this scope. They've, you know, uh, with, with all the stuff on here, it's 300 millimeters focal length. It just isn't quite long enough of a tube to do it. It would be a terrible nightmare to try and shorten that tube. Uh, luckily for me, when I bought the scope, it came with a shorty adapter. I'm not sure where, I don't know if you can buy these, where, where this came from. But it fits standard threads. And this adapter is short enough that it will actually work with inch and a quarter. I have enough focus just barely in there. It'll even work with one of these. And these have a... Uh, these have a little bit more length requirements. There's several reflections going on there. So the image erecting prism works okay with this scope in that way, but only because I have the ultra short adapter. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Pentax J60C telescope. Thank you very much for watching.